from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Hello everybody, it's B Wildcat 2 here, back today with another episode, I believe episode number 7 of my Michigan State Online Dynasty with, uh, I believe his name is Handy Dandy, and this is week 9 against Wisconsin. We will also have weeks 10 against Nebraska and week 12 against Northwestern. Uh, in fact, episode 8, which uh, should be coming out pretty soon, will be against Minnesota. It will be a separate video as I already have commentary over it, uh, not for any particular reason, but uh, you'll find out when you see it. Anyway, getting back into Episode 7, this is Week 9. Both us and Wisconsin are undefeated at 8-0. This is a matchup between number 2 and number 3. We take an early 3 to nothing lead now as Perkins has 3rd and 4. Trying to calm down the Wisconsin crowd. Hands off to Johnson. Johnson will not get the first down. It will be fourth and three. And we will have to kick another field goal, giving us a six to nothing lead if we can make it. Uh, sorry about how uh, this footage seems choppy. And this was when I was first testing out my Elgato settings. I was still trying to get them perfect. Uh, you'll see in the next couple of games they will be better. It will not be choppy. Fourth and seven late now in the second quarter. Still up 6 nothing, and another field goal will make it 9 to nothing. Michigan State over the number three Badgers as uh, Michigan State's uh, not doing too much in the red zone. Down Now down 14 to 9. Perkins looks, throws that deep. Right is wide open, and he gets into the end zone. And Michigan State's back on top now after that touchdown, their first of the game after three field goals on three drives. Now they have a 15 to 14 lead, the extra point. I believe would be good making it 16 to 14 Michigan State over the Badgers and this game is in Wisconsin so it will be tough and, and a defensive touchdown I believe makes it 23 to 28 now as Wisconsin scored twice but we'll trade that lead back right there with another long touchdown pass to right giving us a 29 to 28 lead here in Wisconsin and we would go for two here in the third quarter trying to give ourselves a three-point lead uh, on the Badgers and Perkins would fire into McGill and get us a three-point lead. We now lead 31 to 28 over Wisconsin with five and a half remaining in the third quarter. Now a field goal that I didn't have uh, recorded uh, because it was simmed and now it's 42-41 but a pitch out on the option gives us a 47 to 42 lead. We're going to go for two again try to give ourselves a touchdown lead this time. 47-42 and the the two-point conversion would be good giving ourselves a 49 42 lead and then I believe we would tack on a field goal here at the end of the game unsportsmanlike I know but the final score is Michigan State wins this one 52 to 42 over the Wisconsin Badgers uh, the Nebraska would or Michigan State was number two and they Wisconsin was number three now we're nine and zero, taking on the six and two Nebraska Cornhuskers here in week 10 number one in the country as Nebraska comes in at 16th Perkins, first and ten, firing deep right with the catch and a touchdown, giving the Spartans their first lead of the game here, 30 seconds into it, or maybe not, I don't think so, it, with four and a half remaining anyway, Michigan State takes a seven to nothing lead on this long touchdown pass, as we need to come out and give ourselves a bigger lead than we had last week. Uh, against the Badgers as that was a struggle. We didn't leave that one till very late in the game. So now 10-9 to after somehow we get a safety. I don't think I have that one recorded. But past the Starks down the right sideline. Inside the 10. And they give it to him. Touchdown Michigan State. 15-10 to now. 3.07 remaining in the second quarter. What's up with all these weird scores like a baseball game or something? Anyway, so Michigan State with their second touchdown of the game now retake the lead. It's 15 to 10, and I believe I don't think they would go for two. I think it was just the extra point. They would take a six-point lead, 16 to 10, over the Cornhuskers. So nicely done there by Michigan State on that drive. Now six, still 16 to 10. Now as we near uh, a minute remaining in the first half, Perkins rolls right. Fires McGill inside the five. Touchdown. He gets in there for his second receiving touchdown of the game, I believe. And now we have a 22-10 to 10 lead with the extra point pending. I believe we kicked the extra point. I don't think we went for two in that situation. But anyway, nicely done there by McGill getting the catch and getting into the end zone. Michigan State now leads it 22-10. to 10. 
and they would get the extra point, making it 23 to 10. Now 23-17 here in the third. Perkins throws out left side, caught by right, running down the sideline. One man to beat. Oh, he goes around him. Oh, right with a long touchdown reception. Nicely done there. Wow. <laughs> Take a look at this one again. A corner route to the left side, makes the catch, starts running up the sideline here. You'll see a better angle at it. Has one man to beat, cuts inside, goes around the Nebraska defender. The cornerback didn't know what was going on. And Wright will run until tomorrow, giving Michigan State an even bigger lead now. Wow. Nicely done there by Wright. Great done, greatly appreciate him. Now it's 30-24 to 24 as the two teams continue to trade touchdowns. And speaking of trading touchdowns, McGill's going to get on, on the action again. His second, I believe, either his second or third. And Michigan State now back up by 12, 36-24. Nicely done there. Uh, just a pass on the streak pattern, and McGill got past the free safety trying to go for the pick. And McGill ran all the way into the end zone, and Michigan State will t retake that 12-point lead. I believe they go for two here, maybe, or maybe not. I don't think so. They went for the one, and it is now a 37-31 ball game. Six point. We keep trading these touchdowns back and forth with Nebraska. And a pass into the end zone for right there in the fourth quarter now. Touchdown, and back on top by 12. As you've seen this happen before, touchdowns are being traded at a, like a ridiculous pace right now. And Michigan State is back on top by 12 as Wright will make that play. And now we'll see. Now we will go for the two-point conversion, trying to make this a 14-point game where if they do are able to get two touchdowns without us getting one, even though we've been trading, uh, it will be we will still be it will only be tied and they won't have the lead. So Perkins quick throw over to right, incomplete. It will remain a 12-point ball game. So uh, missed opportunity there by Michigan State, but now under 10 seconds to go, 43-38. Perkins on the QB keeper, runs it in himself. Touchdown, Michigan State. And that will do it for the ball game. Michigan State would go on to win and prove to 10-0 and over the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The final score, 50-38. to They hung half a hundred on the Cornhuskers tonight, and they will keep that number one ranking in the country. As we take, go to week 12, our last home night, home game, it's senior day against the Northwestern Wildcats, who are 4-6 and six coming into this one. And Northwestern doesn't want to make it a happy senior day by far, leading 14 to nothing over the one, number one Spartans. But quick pass on the corner route to Sims, and Sims can run a while. Sims will spring it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. And they've cut this lead as uh, we end the first quarter with a touchdown pass from Perkins to Sims. Now 14 to 6. Of course, the extra point would be good. 14 to 7, Northwestern. End of the second quarter as Northwestern looks to play upset uh, or looks to keep the Spartans on upset alert here. As we thought maybe in the past couple weeks, one of those two teams would be able to knock us off. But surprisingly, unranked 4 and 6, Northwestern trying to pull it off. Here in East Lansing, 14 to 7, they lead after one. Now 21-14 after the two teams uh, traded a pair of touchdowns. I believe it was a defensive touchdown. Quick pass to Starks into the end zone on the corner, and we tie it up at 21. Now with 28 seconds to go in the first half, nicely done there by the Spartans, and they find Starks, who was falling out of bounds. Lucky he got one foot down, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, Michigan State. Take a look at it. Perkins just fires out to the left side. I don't know what the free safety was doing. I think he was in his zone, and the zone did not call for where uh, where uh, Starks was going on that. So 28-21, Northwestern keeps taking the lead, and we keep having to come back. Perkins firing to McGill. McGill inside the five. Touchdown, Michigan State. Another one. They've tied it up again here in the third quarter now as Northwestern, they keep call either they'll take the lead or they'll claw their way back and tie it up it, it, we can't seem to get rid of these guys northwestern my goodness fourth quarter action 28 all ball game third and 10 perkins looking to throw perkins to mcgill and we've seen this before in fact we saw it just the very last play touchdown michigan state and they have taken a 35 to 28 lead over the wildcats of northwestern Take a look at the pass to McGill, and McGill gets into the end zone, and the Spartans retake the lead. It's now 35-28. to 
Now 42-35, a minute 49 remaining, fourth and eight, last chance for Michigan State. Will they survive the upset alert? Perkins into the end zone to Johnson to tie it up, touchdown. They were on their last breath. All the fans in East Lansing thought that it was going to be over, that they were going to be upset in this game, but what a catch by Nathan Johnson, the tight end. It's good to be able to see him return in this series, and a great touchdown, a clutch touchdown catch there. Now 42 all Northwestern driving, trying to retake the lead, and it's intercepted by our defense. Nicely done there by the cornerback. I don't know any of the defensive players' names, but with a minute and 10 seconds roughly left, we have first and 10 from the 48-yard line with a chance to give ourselves the victory or at least take the lead. Perkins in the shotgun. He's got Johnson to his left. Perkins looking to throw. Perkins throws out right side. That's Nathan Johnson, the tight end. We saw this just a second ago. Nathan rumbles his way into the end zone. The big fella with the touchdown, and we tie it up. Or we actually untie the game up, excuse me, with the Nathan Johnson touchdown rumble. And the big fella gets on the scoreboard again. His second touchdown of the game in the receiving yards. And we now have a 49-42 lead. Five seconds to go. Fourth and three. Last chance for Northwestern. Going deep. And it is knocked down incomplete. With one second to go, Michigan State survives by the by their last hanging nails on the edge of the cliff. They win it 49-42 over the, sh the, the Wildcats trying to pull off the upset, but we're not able to at the end. 49-42. My goodness, what an absolutely entertaining game by far. This was definitely one of the closest ones we've had on the season. The Michigan uh, State-Michigan game was really close, as well as this one. In fact, they're all, all these games were pretty close. We were uh, trading leads with these teams. But anyway, like I said, episode 8 will be pretty soon. It will be the week 13 game against uh, Minnesota, our last regular season game. See if we can finish the our regular season at uh, undefeated 12-0. And then our next episode will be, after that, will be the Big 12 or the Big 10 championship game. As with this win over Northwestern, we will be going to the Big 10 championship game. Who will we face? Right now, it's looking like we might have a rematch with one of the teams in the leaders division. In the leaders division, excuse me. But I want to thank you guys for watching episode number seven. I'm trying to get through all this footage and finish off this series before NCAA 14, as we're trying to, hardly to do so, or not trying hardly. We are trying really hard to get this series and all of our series from NCAA 13 finished up before we get to NCA 14 and uh, as you as I've said before I don't know whether I'll be getting NCA 14 or not I don't know if I'll still be doing YouTube by then but I might as well uh, finish up what I've got left on my hard drive and that includes this series so um, anyway guys take a look at some of the last last highlights of the game as Michigan State is 11 and 0 and will be going to uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota next week to take on the Golden Gophers with a chance to be 12-0. The uh, the Golden Gophers come into the game at 5-6, and six, and they need a victory to uh, give themselves bowl eligibility. So lots of things at line here for these two teams, one trying to go to bowl and one trying to remain undefeated into the postseason play. So hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys.